This is how I make my gel nails last for three weeks. So I first go in with my dehydrator um, just to make sure that my nails are clean and dry. And then after I go in with my primer, it just helps the, um, the base coat to attach to the nail um, really nice and easy. So I just do a little bit of that. You don't want to put too much on there because then that's where it can lead to your nails chipping. And then I go in with my base coat. Um, I go ahead and clean around it. And then here I am just applying my color. Color, especially your first coat, you want to make sure that you don't want to put a lot because, again, um, to make your nails last longer, you don't want it to chip. So you just first start out with a little bit and then you make sure you cover all around your nail beds and just take your time and it'll all work out. Yeah, so once I have that first coat on, I just make sure that I apply it smoothly and before I um, cure it in the lamp. So I went ahead and cured it for 60 seconds. Again, it all depends on the kind of gel polish that you have. Um, I know sometimes you can cure it for 30 seconds, um, but mine I had to do it for 60 seconds. And then I go ahead and clean it, clean around my nails. So yeah, this is me cleaning around the nails. Um, you also want to make sure that you clean around it, especially with gel polish, because once you cure it, you can get um, allergic to it. Um, so you can clean around it and also underneath the nails as well. It can also lead to chipping and also lifting as well. So you want to make sure that you're doing that. And then here I am still cleaning around it. So I'm applying my second coat of color. Um, I go in again with a, just a little bit of color. I don't want to overdo it. Um, again, putting on too much can lead to chipping and lifting. So I put on just a little bit and then follow along the follow along my nail beds. Okay, so after applying the second coat, again, I go ahead and cure it for 60 seconds again. Um, of course, before curing again, make sure they clean around this second coat um, again before curing. All right, so then after I go ahead and apply my top coat, um, this just makes sure the nails are um, glossy and then it, it protects the color they just put on, right? It helps it to prevent it from chipping. Um, so you wanna go ahead and just also do a little bit of that. So now you have your base coat and then I did two coats of color and then I did my top coat. So that's four coats of everything in total. So if you went ahead and you did three coats, that's like five coats of everything that you've done. So you just wanna consider that when you're picking your color, because sometimes some colors can come out streaky. Um, I can do a video where I do have like a color that can come out streaky and see how like we can make that one last. Um, so again, I go in here and I clean around it and I care for 60 seconds and this is how it came out. After I also go ahead and put on my cuticle oil, Cuticle oil is so important. Um, this one is this one is the Model One's cuticle oil. It smells like honey, and um, it smells so good, honestly. <laughs> but you want to go ahead and put that around. It just helps to make sure your nails are moisturized, especially after um, using alcohol around it. So you just want to make sure your nails and your hands are moisturized. Okay, so I would love to know how it went for you once you follow this tutorial. Let me know in the comment section. If there's anything that you think I should change, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe.